Hello, welcome to Fountain FX on Wednesday the 14th of January 2015. For this blog, I just want to review the pound US dollar trade that I took yesterday. Um, for those of you that didn't cover it, I had uh, overnight I had a uh, buy, sorry, a sell stop order down here at this low uh, because what I was doing was I was expecting price to sell off and I was basically running a trailing stop a trailing sell stop underneath there. Had I been awake, as I said, at midnight, I would have put my stop in up to here, but I was doing other things, so my stop was here. Uh, what happened was, was that um, obviously open, European open, uh, seven, well, 5.30 the Asian session started to sell off. This is the European open session here. So I'd have, had I moved it, I'd have been triggered in with the European open session and price just started to sell off. Now at 11.30 there was news due out on the pound and uh, basically the pound just started to sell off quite rapidly all the way down to this area, the 150.80 um, at the point where news came out. Now I was in this trade and I managed it and trailed it down. However, what did we see? Once the news came out, we saw a big massive pull back and it carried on up. Now why was that? Let's just quickly take a look at the news and I'll be able to share that with you. So the news that came out at 11.30 on the key, the core news that they were looking for, the one that's highlighted in red, is the consumer price index. It's about the amount of spending in the high street and if you consider it comes out at the beginning of January, so what's it measuring? It's measuring what was spent over the Christmas period and it was forecast to be 0.7% from a previous performance in November of 1% and the actual figure was 0.5% so it's actually declining so it doesn't look very positive for the UK economy so what happened there well there you go it shows you this is a key uh, news trading strategy if we flick back to the actual uh, chart itself and the strategy with um, trading the news is in this case it's sell the rumor by the news okay so basically people were aware that it wasn't going to be positive news this is all the banks and the institutions so they're the ones that are driving the markets and the currencies so they're the ones that are pushing the price down so therefore they knew that it was going to be bad news prior to the news coming out as soon as the news gets released it's like yep yeah, okay we've already factored that into the price so let's start taking our profit and closing our trades and then you see the price rally all the way back up. So this is a key strategy that you guys can be using. If you see the news, if you see price falling prior to the news, then once the news is out, get out of the trade, close your trade 15 minutes before the news is released. So that would have been like here at the end of this nice big candlestick. We can close the order and then um, sit, wait for the news to come out. Yes, it's negative. Look for some strength, which we got here. And then you just buy and take it all the way back up again. So two great opportunities there. Um, when the news comes out, if you're day trading, this is a great way of trading. Otherwise, swing trading is a bit of a bummer because obviously you're expecting price to continue on down, especially as it broke this previous low. So this is the key thing to be aware of. When news is coming out, whether you're swing trading or day trading, um, probably the best thing is, is close your any positions you've got that are in profit or at least manage your risks so you can close that, you can uh, stop manage your stops that you actually bank in some profit and then uh, see exactly what happens after the news comes out but that's it from fountain fx today happy trading all the very best bye bye